Uh, Kanye, 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 bro. Over the last couple of days, obviously, just like everybody else who probably watches this channel and anybody else who has any kind of social media at all or watches any news, you are fairly aware of the things that Kanye has said most recently. And it's just like, clearly the dude's got a God complex, right? Like we already knew that he called himself the Shakespeare of his time, even though his rhymes for the most part are lackluster, but I get what he's saying, his influence. He has this very, I'm the greatest of my generation, which in a lot of instances is true, especially when he's, you know, had the obstacles that he's had in his career going against the traditional rap style in 2000 and then creating a clothing line from basically nothing and having no help whatsoever in the clothing space to now being multiple billions of dollars basically because of his clothing and his shoes. So he's had this God complex for some time and having that plus mixed with bipolar disorder and obviously not in the right frame of mind, he ends up saying shit, dog. He in, and how far can you blame his mental disorder for his actions. At a certain point, you can't hide behind that anymore. You know what I'm saying? Normally you would think he has a team, but because he has this God complex, he's gonna post and say whatever he wants. And that was most recently with the anti-Semitic remarks that he, that he said. Obviously the white lives matter. He is a very, not necessarily tongue in cheek, but he's somebody that is going to do something just to get under people's skin. Uh, and obviously that's where that came from. And then the whole right side and Candace Owen were applauding him bravery, yada, yada. I mean, the whole white lives matter thing, obviously it's not my position to speak on it as to whether I was offended or not, because it's not my fight. I am in the middle race. I'm in the middle child race of being Hispanic. So I'm just eating popcorn from the sidelines watching the whole race relations thing play out between white lives matter, black lives matter, all lives matter, yada, yada, yada. But if you have paid attention to anything that Balenciaga has done this year, you can pretty much tell that they don't give a fuck about anything. Everything that they've done this year from like a thousand dollar trash bags to making fucking flip flop sandals out of plastic water bottles and charging hundreds of dollars for those. It's just, they're just mocking at this point. High fashion is mocking the less fortunate basically at this point. So whenever he wore the White Lives Matter shirt, I was like, that ain't something that's good out of the ordinary for Kanye. If you're offended or not, that's on you. That's whatever you want. I'm not saying you should be or shouldn't be, but you should not be surprised by Kanye's antics at this point. And it just leads to the question of like, how far can an artist go for you to where you are no longer separate, can separate the art from the artist? I am someone who can strongly separate the art from the artist. When Kanye first did his antics, whenever he first did the George Bush doesn't care about black people, like all these things where people, and he had like the crown of thorns on the Rolling Stones magazine. None of that mattered to me. Like I was still like, most artists are gonna be delusional or have something like mentally, especially at the level and pressure that Kanye is at, they're gonna act out like that. But how far are you willing to accept that? And if you cannot accept it, are you being a hypocrite by not accepting it, by not accepting it because it's Kanye versus another artist? Are you blackballing Kanye from listening to all of his music personally, but you still jam step in the name of love? Are you still rooting for Tiger Woods for to come back and be the champion that he once was? How far are you willing to separate the person from what they do that the world loves? Like even with the anti-Semitic marks, I was in my mind, I read what he had said and I was like, okay, I guess if I give the Kanye curve and try to like understand what he's saying through his inability to coherently form a thought and say it out loud, I don't know if you've noticed, but that's Kanye. He, he is not the strongest of public speakers and never has been. And that's what hurts his brand. Part of the thing that hurts his brand. So if I take that into context and I'm like, what did he mean by this Jewish text to me? And I'm not defending Kanye here. I'm just trying to think like, like critically and think what he, I thought he might've meant because he's been blackballed from a lot of industries and a lot of and a lot of high fashion, a lot of media, a lot of production side and it just happens to be that especially in Hollywood, a lot of a lot of the biggest producers at the top, a lot of them are Jewish. So I understood in the context of what he was saying that like, you know, he's coming for that level of producer and showing them that like nothing you can do can stop Kanye, but he just has a shit way of saying these things. I've always said it and I'll say it always is that it doesn't matter what you meant. Perception is reality. When you spell DEFCON, when you spell that, not DEFCON, D-E-F-C-O-N, which stands for defense readiness. It's a level meter for those that in the, aren't in the United States. DEFCON one through five and the higher you go, 
the lower the number the stronger you are in defcon like defcon one is basically world at war and we are part of it so when he's saying he's going defcon three it doesn't matter at what he meant and i don't even know if he knows how to spell defcon as d-e-f-c-o-n he spelled it as death con the jews and you just can't say that shit you can't say that shit because there was an entire holocaust and it doesn't matter what right or left thinks i'm someone who leans middle right most of the time so i'm very someone who's pro free speech and it like hate speech as well but it's also twitter they have a policy they have rules that you have to follow to be on the app like yeah you have free speech but they, they can't just let everything slide on twitter and instagram that is why you have to sign the terms and conditions up front bro he basically told diddy what did he tell him i had it right here oh no he didn't necessarily tell diddy directly he said the funny thing is i can't be anti-semitic because black people are actually jew also first off jew why can't you just put ish like it sounds so much better as jewish versus jew and secondly saying that black people are basically jewish and you can't be anti-semitic that's like if i said some racist ass shit and then been like ah nah i'm not really racist i got black friends what you know like oh my god bro kanye just needs to not speak ever he is not good with articulating thought bro and it doesn't matter if i can see through the context and it doesn't matter if i can pick apart what he's saying and gather I'm, like if i can defend what kanye is saying in my head because i know that he can't talk none of that shit matters because perception is reality and the perception is that he's off his fucking rocker and saying anti-semitic shit i'm all for free speech but come on dog come on dog so yeah i just kind of want to get y'all's opinion uh on what y'all think about the situation uh are you someone who can still are you someone who can see past the art or see to the art and not see the artist antics and not bring them together as one or are you someone that once you get past a certain threshold you can no longer separate the two and we are at that point with kanye or whatever the case may be just let me know i want to do more videos like these just to kind of get some kind of engagement get y'all's opinion on controversial things but yeah i'll be reading all the comments i like reading the comments of these type of videos i guess thanks for watching guys if y'all haven't been here before consider subscribing to the channel support the channel with patreon if y'all guys want to get more reactions and more videos that don't make the channel we also have a second channel out there for non-music reactions so consider checking that out there and i'm thinking about putting more political things on that second channel if not making a third political channel altogether because for the most part the shit that you see in the media with how separated people are most people aren't like that most people are like me they're middle and then they lean one direction or the other and that's the way that they go so i'm thinking about bringing some clarity in terms of like the okay Ernest is more level-headed than if i went to fox news to try to get an opinion based on this so let me know what y'all think uh that does it for today and i'll catch y'all guys next video